Yeah, hi everyone, I'm Frank Walters and welcome to the secrets of successfully painting structure in watercolour. Do you know, a lot of amateur painters, they carefully draw a fairly accurate sketch and then colour it in. That's called colouring in and it will never be expressive. So how can we change all that? What can we do? Well, here's, a, here's some really good tricks and secrets I want to share with you. First of all, there's a screen grab coming up so uh, this is of the wonderful Orleans house in West London in Twickenham beautiful structure and it would make for a great painting um, okay I've started to paint um, Orleans house just the outline in raw CN I'm now throwing in the sky I'm basically doing the first light wash um, and as you can see the structure itself is an approximation I'm sort of feeling my way round really there are one or two important features there's certainly the grass area in the photograph in the reference uh, while I'm painting I'm using green I've only got one green in my tin and that is olive green I tend to mix that with earth colors and sky colors and uh, but that's my basic green you can see I'm now I'm painting with a, a number eight Kalinsky sable by the way and if you flatten it you get almost like a square edge and I can pull down those columns those columns in burnt sienna I thought were f would be fairly important and it actually helps with the structure as well um, now just looking at some of the some of the angles getting some of those vanishing points right just missed a bit there to clean it up a bit but marching on um, again really ju just little bits of sort of calligraphy I've gone a bit harder here with my values a bit stronger I felt comfortable about those two doorways or whatever they are in the distance so I've decided to paint them anyway and I tend to paint with with a feeling you know just it just feels right and you can see I've painted in um, those wonderful round windows and those long um, uh, tall windows below but without any real detail and the brush marks are just very simple now those items on top of the building and the roof next door a bit of drain pipe and then we start just with the Kalinsky sable again with a bit of a square edge to it just getting in those windows just keeping everything incredibly simple it's the way to do it and as I'm doing all this the, this calligraphy element I'm making sure I retain light don't block everything in keep things really light just keep working around the painting keep looking at the painting and just seeing where you can add a little bit but don't overdo it don't overdo anything just keep retaining the light so we've got some nice shapes going on again no drawing was made here with a pencil this is all done with uh, with the brush now right at the very end of doing the um, the basic structure we now have the foreground trees those because it's in the foreground of course those trees are much darker aren't they and we know that getting a rigger brush out now and uh, continuing with the rigger brush as you could see I just used a little bit more detail there um, keeping the trees nice and nice and loose nice bit of uh, nice nice few lines now I'm while I've got the dark in my brush I'm just adding a little bit more calligraphy here and there a few more lines again not overdoing it just a little bit of shadow a bit more depth just tiny bits here and there this is what makes a, a painting where I'm not there's no pencil drawing so there's no you know I'm not pushed into doing anything this is pure free painting and this is when you get real quick and slick um, uh, values happening all the time because I'm not colouring in. Colouring in is very bad. Um, the foliage has been put on now again and I'm getting some texture into the, the lawns there. Just a nice bit of dry brush coming up. Uh, there it is and uh, texture, a little bit of texture on the path as well. Uh, a bit more dark, just looking at things. And now we come to the most important part of all. We save the best till last, and this is where the shadows kick in. Uh, a lovely transparent glaze of French ultramarine and alizarin 
nicely mix it make sure you you pre-mix enough because you want to do this all in one go and very quickly uh, I'm starting with the small elements now I'm looking at the bigger sections I'm throwing in those wonderful rich purple shadows this is where the painting comes together this is where the real magic happens and you have to work quickly and slickly here and voila it's done